So good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much. If you are watching me for the first time, thank you so much. Please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, Last of CO TV. Thank you so much. Last of CO is spelled H O U S C O F C E O. They give space R N T apostrophe health and TV. If you are watching me on your TikTok, thank you so much. You can also you can also follow me and check my previous videos. On different things about life okay now i just want to talk about seven ways how you can cope with depression there are seven of them i know most of us we are going through a lot right now we are going through one challenge or the other or some things we are faced with our academics with our relationship with our ministry with our finances and employment here yeah, and yeah. maybe maybe after school no work or stuff like that you are going through one thing or the other and you are depressed or you are being be blackmailed or maybe your nude photo is about to be leaked or stuff like that we are depressed and now you can do it now let me tell you seven ways to keep in touch seven ways to cope sorry with depression if you are depressed i have seven ways i can tell you how you can cope with depression that means if you are depressed there are seven ways you can cope the first one is stay in touch good in the sense that stay in touch is that don't just be isolated don't just isolate yourself because you are going through a lot you know, talk to somebody meet your friends talk to people Make sure that you socialize with people. Do something that will, that will keep you distracted from that particular problem. Because if you stay alone, the thought of committing suicide will come to your mind. And I always tell people that suicide is not an option. So whatever you choose to do with the moment of depression, you just have to try as much as possible to keep in touch. You are not your you're not the only person going through a lot right now. People are going through a lot right now in this country. You understand? Like we all see that. The rate of employment is high. This is the expenses. So people are finding it difficult to feed or afford square meals. Or all, all these are all part of why people are being depressed. So stay in touch and keep with somebody. Keep talk to somebody. Okay. The second one is be more active. Yes. In the sense that whenever you are going through depression, try to be active. Like you can engage, you can engage in exercise. Go to gym. Just try to do your normal routine, you understand? Like go to gym, exercise your body, all this will keep you distracted. Be more active. Like what you, what you used to do before, before whatever the case may be comes up, or whatever the challenge may be, still keep doing those things, you understand? So because your case is not the worst, you understand? So try as much as possible to, to be more active, you understand? The first one is stay in touch. Talk to somebody. Talk and be more happy. Be lively. Come back to life. You understand? Because no amount of thinking or thing will change anything. What has happened has happened. Just have to look for a possible solution to deal with it. You understand? You thought on his face of fear. Yes. Most of us are just afraid of. Okay. What will people will see. What will people will do. You understand? What people will see and stuff like that. We are just afraid of so many things about life. You understand? Now let me tell you the most different, the most, the most easiest thing to do to solve your problems to face your fear. That thing you find difficult to do. Make sure you are engaging. You keep doing them. You understand? To face your fear. You understand? Do things that you find difficult. During during your during your moment of depression, you understand? Try as much as possible to face the fear. That thing that make you worry. Like let's say for instance now. I will even put it now. Let's say for instance now. You are being blackmailed. You understand? You are being blackmailed, and someone says you must pay uh, some amount of money, you understand, for them to clear the whole issues or stuff like that. The truth is that don't pay your blackmailer, no matter what. Don't even give them one naira. Let them go ahead and do whatever they want to do. So that means you are so confident, you are so sure of facing your fear. Or before they even come outside to do anything, you, you first of all inform the public about what was going on. Inform the public that this is what you are facing. Come out, speak, face that fear once and for all. I want the blackmailer feel that this person no, don't cast everything. They will be just like because if you continue paying your blackmailer, you pay them today, you pay them tomorrow, pay the next one until you go bankrupt. Do not pay your blackmailer, no matter what's going on. Try as much as possible to face your fear. That is the only thing I will tell you. Face your fear, no matter what. Face your fear. The fourth one is don't drink much alcohol. Let me tell you this thing. Like Nollywood and Hollywood have given us this uh, mindset that whenever they have broken relationship or someone break their broke their heart or they are facing one thing or the other, one form of depression or the other, the only form is to just get alcohol and start drinking. 
I'm not saying you should not drink, but don't drink too much. And you know what? Even if after you drink, say, that problem is still there. It doesn't sort. It doesn't solve anything. So don't take. Don't drink and get drunk. So alcohol is not the solution. Taking drugs is not the solution to that particular problem. Like I said in my, like, like I said in my, the third like I said, face of face. So you, you taking alcohol or taking drugs to just kill that depression. After some time or some minutes or some hour, it's still there. So for example, just like, okay, let me just have sex. Or let me just do something. Let me do something awkward to so just ease myself. You really feel relief at that moment, but that thing is still there. So alcohol does not 100% uh, does not really take away that um, that depression. You understand? Doesn't really take it. You understand? So you taking too much alcohol or taking much alcohol doesn't solve anything. It's t- the people will still be there. You understand? So don't take alcohol. Don't just see it as one of the uh, mechanism or one of the way out of depression. It's still there. So I'm telling you on how to cope. On how to cope with depression. Now the fifth one is try to eat a healthy diet. Try to eat. Like there will be this popular 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 comment online that like whatever you are going through, try try as much as possible to eat. And some people don't even eat at all. They don't even eat at all at all. They find out to eat anything. They don't even eat. Because of whatever they are going through. Like some people now who are let's just see. What will I even use as example now? Can okay, I just feel that okay? Um you're planning to do something and you face so many so much disappointment, the thing doesn't didn't work out as you expected. You understand like in life all have expectations, but it didn't work out as planned. Then you start feeling depressed, you're not able to eat, they give you food, you reject the food, you don't even cook, you lost weight, you look clean or so some people tend to overheat. You just eat eat if this thing is going to if this thing is going to keep depression, then they over they they over hard with they get they get big. They get on their, their usual size because of depression. So try to eat a healthy a healthy meal. Balance your diet. You understand? Don't just don't just don't overeat and don't just don't just stay away from food at the same time. You understand? So all these things is going to really help you. So no matter what you're going to try as much as possible to balance the equation. Live your normal life. That people will that people will sort itself out. You understand? And let me tell you something something that you don't have control but just allow them be. Okay? So the sixth one is have a routine. Like my own daily routine, like now, when I, when I come back from work or from office, I just do my TikTok, you know, do my TikTok video, just look for something to eat or watch Netflix. I watch Netflix or I go for swimming or I just drive out with friends, you understand? Now I'll just drive out, I'll just go to one fast food restaurant, I'll just go to watch, go to the shop right anyway. After close of work or I will come back home, I'll just do one or two things just to ease myself. Understand, we all have problems, we all have challenges, it's normal. You understand, so have a daily routine. Don't just feel that because you are depressed, some people don't even sleep at all. So, don't even sleep at all, or some people oversleep. Let's take for instance now, you go for a competition now, yes, and you didn't win, like maybe like a musical competition or a reality TV show, you didn't win. And let's just like this big brother, for instance, now you are evicted from the house. And you are in your hotel room, you are sleeping. We really oversleep because you are depressed. You are not happy. You are sad because you got evicted from the house. You understand? You tend to oversleep or you don't even sleep at all because you are depressed. You are down. Do you get it? So just, just have a daily routine no matter what is going on. And the last but not the least, seek help when needed. Yes. Seek help. If after all these things, if after you have... You have done this six things, like you have stayed in touch, you talk to people, you'll be more active, you face your fear, you do a daily routine, you know, they don't drink alcohol and all these things are still they still feel depressed. You understand? Then go for talk go uh, go for a therapy. You need just you need help. Seek out help. Any form of help you can get, just try as much as possible to seek out help. You understand? It's going to it will really help you. It really help you with that depression, you understand? So like I said, the several ways that you can deal with depression is the first one is stay in touch, talk to somebody. Second one is face your fear. Third one, third one is don't drink too much alcohol. Try to eat a healthy diet. The sixth one, have a routine. And the last but not the least, seek help for depression. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining me. Thank you so much. Please share this video, like and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Last of CEO International TV. Thank you so much. I love you. See you in my next video. 
Thank you. Please share this video, like and comment. I love you. Thank you.